Hello, and today we're going to take a look at a 2009 Toyota Camry LE. And this is with a four cylinder engine. And it's kind of a black on black with the black wheels and dark tinted windows. It's a fairly good looking car. I think it's aged well, if you can even see it there. <laughs> Poor time of day to take the video, but. I think this design is aged fairly well. It doesn't look like a 10 year old car by any means. Let's go ahead and take a look at the key fob here. So this is your 2009 Toyota Camry key fob. There you go. It does have lock and unlock and of course panic buttons as well as a trunk popper as well. I do like that the trunk actually comes up with this. This could be a huge help if you've got hands full. And starting in the trunk here, you're going to immediately notice these uh, seat poppers. You pull those and then you can reach back and push the seat down. Same thing with that one there. It's handy to have those there. Trunk is fairly spacious and in good shape. It's also got this little, uh, I'm not sure what you'd call it, just a little storage bin right there. Go ahead and close that up and move on inside. So this car, well first off, I washed this thing mere hours ago, but all of the pollen and dust from being right next to the road here has already taken its toll. But uh, let's see, so yes, this car only has 116,000 miles, and as you can tell, it has held up very well. Toyota typically has uh, fairly good quality materials that they use. This one does have cloth seats for those of you that prefer cloth. Check out the back seat as well. As with a lot of vehicles, especially vehicles from Japan, you can only access the gas cap by pulling a lever that is inside the vehicle. So if your vehicle's locked, nobody can have access to your fuel filler. These back seats do have the, uh, the center armrest and cup holders there, as well as the stretchy uh, little storage bins or compartments on the back of these seats and of course power windows. I have this front seat set really far back and I do still have more than enough knee and leg room. So a full grown uh, somewhat large sized adult will fit in this back seat with no issue. Let me go ahead and give you a little bit more in-depth look at the interior. There's the headliner and ceiling. These are the door panels here. It's more of the back seat. These of course adjust up and down. And you do have three shoulder seat belts back here. as well as a small little storage cubby for the back seat as well. Passenger side door panel is similar to the back seat just with the addition of the uh, door lock switch. And of course you do have four grab handles for each door. Let's go ahead and move inside here. So, there we go. Anyway, starting off on the left, of course, you have your typical power windows and power door lock controls as well as power mirrors. This is a nice little I like to think of it as a coin bin. I'm sure you could use it for whatever. Um, I'm not sure how well you can tell there, and obviously it's not an ashtray, but it has a sloped uh, side here, and that's for the purpose of reaching in and grabbing coins. I really like that. And it also closes up so that nothing's gonna be bouncing out or anything like that. Fairly spacious interior in here. Plenty of little storage nooks and crannies. Of course, you do have your glove box right there. Um, your 
bins or storage compartments on the door panel. It does have little cubbies on either side of the center con or center control stack there, as well as a nice little storage thing in here that also has the auxiliary port and a 12 volt outlet in there. And you can close that up, same with the cup holders here. In the center console, you do have a fairly large amount of space as well as a little business card holder, which is very nice. We will go ahead and start this up. So there's the gauges there. As you can tell, they're very easy to use. They're lit up well. I quite like the gauges. It's something that, uh, you know, that's, that's very easy to follow. This vehicle does, of course, have the steering wheel audio controls, which I am a huge fan of, and then your cruise controls are off to the right there. Your radio controls are very easy to use and understand, volume and power, as well as tune and file, and then you've got your presets here and various audio controls there. Uh, with this, having the auxiliary port, you can change folders and change tracks on your MP3 player or phone, which is nice, and I love these climate controls, so let me show you. So first off, they kind of light up the background there. The blue background kind of lights up when you turn them on or when the lights are on. Let me show you. So does the radio background. It's kind of a neat touch there. So I love these uh, climate controls for one reason, and that is they're very simple and easy to use. I like that because you don't have to take your eyes and attention off of the road for long or at all to use them. And I prefer dials over buttons for that reason. Once you've driven this car enough after owning it, you're gonna just automatically know the left is fan, spree, fan speed, excuse me, the middle is temperature and the right is the vent selector. When you do put this vehicle in park, it unlocks all of the door locks. And you do have a nice little clock right there. And this, as you can tell, does have a dash protector. Let's go ahead and take it for a drive and see how it drives. All right, driving the 2009 Toyota Camry LE four-cylinder. You know, it's, it's I'd say it's like a mid-sized economy car. Um, it feels plenty spacious in here. I'm six foot one, I still have plenty of head space. The seats are pretty firm, but remarkably comfortable. I find myself, you know, perhaps the person uh, that owned this prior just happened to be about the same size and build as me because I find myself particularly comfortable in these seats. They're, they're cloth, which I, I kind of do like cloth in certain situations, and I think these seats are really comfortable. Let's, uh, let's see how they hold up with a little bit more driving. Plenty of leg room down here, really. I mean, like I said, it's a it's fairly good sized car and good sized interior. The AC is ice cold. I've got it uh, on the lowest settings I can as far as fan speed and everything. Um, and it's keeping me really nice and cool. It's not a super warm day, but it was a little bit hot when I got in the car earlier. You know, I find everything pretty well within the driver's reach. Um, I've got the seat set really far back. Just that's kind of how I like it. But uh, everything, I mean, the farthest button is the tune knob. And if I fully outstretch my arm, I can reach it, no problem. I'm gonna kind of fall back here on the road and put my foot in it, see how much get up and go it's got. So it only downshifted one gear, but uh, once you get up over 3,000 RPM, you can tell it, it, uh, it gets a little bit more power at that point, or it feels that way anyway. And you know, it's, it's especially with the four cylinder engine, you're not gonna be winning any races or anything, but I'd say it's plenty capable and plenty powerful. You know, if you live in an area with a lot of hills and mountains and stuff like that, you're not gonna have the issue to where you're constantly shifting between gears to maintain the speed that you want. I think that the engine's gonna have um, plenty of power to keep you at speed up or downhill. And uh, if you needed to overtake somebody on the highway, you put your foot down. I think, I didn't put it all the way to the floor, um, but I think if you did put it a little bit further down than I had, it might uh, even downshift two gears. I don't know how many how many uh, gears are in the transmission. It's an automatic transmission, but um, yeah, it's it's got plenty of power to hold its own and to do what you need it to do. Yeah, this car is a great cruiser. You know, I wouldn't say the ride is quite on the same level as something like a Lexus or a Toyota Avalon. 
you do feel a little bit more of the road imperfections. However, that said, it's still, it's it's easily a road trip or long distance car. Like I said, these seats uh, still remain to be comfortable for me and uh, the ride is fairly comfortable. It's not harsh by any means. You're not getting a lot of feedback from the road. And uh, yeah, this is, this is something that, you know, you're gonna get good fuel economy in a fairly good sized car and this is road trip worthy all day long. We are coming up to a roundabout. So here in a moment, I'll get kind of a little bit of a taste of uh, how this might feel around corners. Ooh, yeah, that grips the road pretty well. Which not only is, uh, it adds a little bit to the fun factor of the car, you know, the sportiness, but um, handling has a lot to do with safety. You know, if you need to do an emergency maneuver or uh, something along those lines, you're gonna feel a lot more comfortable knowing that your car is gonna grip the road and go where you tell it to, as opposed to if you have an emergency maneuver, you need to quickly, you know, get out of the way. Um, some other vehicles might break traction and uh, cause you to still hit or, or come into collision with the object you were trying to avoid in that situation. So it seems to handle pretty well. We've got one more roundabout coming up here. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, give it to it and get another another little bit of experience with how this vehicle handles. I'm going a little bit faster around this than we probably should. Um, most vehicles would be chirping the tires around this turn, but not this one. Yeah, that, uh, that did pretty good. You know, as in with most um, steering wheel mounted audio controls, I find these really easy to use and understand uh, both you know, looking at them, glancing at them, but also without needing to look at them. You know, they've got slightly different texture or shape uh, for each button, so you can pretty easily identify what you're pushing um, without having to look at it, and I love that. I love that because I find myself adjusting volume or adjusting uh, or changing the song, station, what have you, pretty often. Um, I'm pretty particular about the music that I listen to while I'm driving, and so I'm messing with those all the time in my personal vehicles. And so it's nice to have something to where that's on the steering wheel and you're not taking, you know, you see here, um, I have to take my eyes and my hand away from the road to adjust the volume or especially to switch between one of the presets. I know I'm definitely not somebody that's skilled enough that can memorize something at that distance and with that many buttons all, you know, all in your head there. Um, these steering wheel audio controls, if you don't already have them in your vehicle, they make a huge difference. They'll change your lives. So, so far, uh, my experience and impression of the 2009 Toyota Camry four-cylinder is um, it's plenty spacious in here. They really did a, a great ergonomic design here in the interior. And uh, in addition to that, most of the controls are very simple and easy to use, uh, very straightforward. The speed of the vehicle, it's not a speedy or fast vehicle by any means, but plenty capable and plenty powerful for what it is. And this is something that, uh, for somebody that's looking for a sedan, this is something that would make an awesome, awesome, awesome daily driver. Plenty of space in the interior, as I said, especially if you have a family, it does have the car seat hookups back there. And uh, you know, it's, it's a great, great interior. Toyotas are dependable, it gets good fuel economy, especially for the size vehicle that it is. I think it's just over 30 miles per gallon. And uh, yeah, this this be a great vehicle. Also front wheel drive, so if you live in an area that gets snow or a little bit of ice, this is gonna perform better than it would in a rear wheel drive vehicle. And uh, yeah, this is, it's, it, this is a great all around vehicle, I think, for sure. So there you have it. The 2009 Toyota Camry LE four cylinder. It is a nice little car. I think it's gonna make somebody a fabulous daily driver. The interior is plenty spacious and uh, well appointed and this particular one is pretty clean on the inside as well i think it's a great little car and like i said it's going to make somebody very happy and serve them well thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next vehicle and review